Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment, was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Max Blessed Holloway, why and I represent, enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. So here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple. He can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a busy coach. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Max Blast Holloway. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Ilya Elmanagor. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, well, he might be the best volume striker in the game. Max Holloway back on the proven ground. We'll see if he can get the hands going early in this fight. And not a guy who needs much of a feeling out process. He's probably going to throw 500 plus strikes tonight unless he gets a finish. All eyes on the what a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautiful, perfect places on that shot. All right, so he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count to try to end this fight. There's that jab from Max Holloway. Didn't take him long to find a home for that tonight. I mean, Max Holloway constantly fights behind the jab, and you would expect it at the start of every single fight. The jab... <laughs> Sidekick now. Three minutes. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh! 
Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Topuria's hook shot there. Oh! A beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt him very bad. Hurt a little bit. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if you really go for it offensively, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt one more time in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but. His opponent still stays. Both tough. To take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. 45 seconds remain in the round. Max Holloway at his best in the stand-up here tonight. Could there be any better representation of Hawaiian MMA than Max Blessed Holloway? that follow up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, oh, and oh, on stop. both sides in round one. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Holloway's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Beautiful jab lands. I mean, what else can you say about that Max Holloway jab? Just makes it look easy. He makes it look easy and... Oh, that hurt. That hurt him bad. Now he's back up. Oh, my goodness! The biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a <laughs> on wobbly legs. Side control now. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice upward cut. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Holloway Zai now closing up. Oh! That'll do it! Oh! Woo! What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money. Bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, 
and still the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Ilya El Matador All right, there's a little smile. Wasn't much for smiles during fight week. He can finally exhale right now because he is still the best in the world at 140.